fair use. What is it? How to use it? How not to use it? How to give credit to the original works? And how to avoid copyright troubles? All this and more in today's video. Now since yesterday I watched a video from H3H3 Productions that basically said that they were being sued for using clips from another YouTuber's videos to criticize and or make uh, satirize their work. Now after hearing their explanation I realized that under the fair use clause this was actual proper use of the content. However the people whose co content was used in the comedy sketch, as they um, put it, not H3H3, but the person that's suing them, um, they, they did not like the way that they made fun of their videos, so they've decided to issue a lawsuit against them. Now, while normally this would be cause to reflect on exactly how they use the, use the other person's content, in this case it's just a matter of, oh well, I don't like the way that they portrayed my video so I'm going to sue them and get money out of them. And in fact, the person sent H3H3A an email detailing that they wanted three things. The first one was a public apology. The second one was to take down the video and never mention the video or anything about it again. And the third thing was to pay them $4,000. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me, for just a slight maybe a slide on their character or on their content. This is overkill. This is just plain overkill. Okay, so what is fair use? Under the copyright law, fair use is stated to be use of copyrighted work that does not devalue the original work. So, for example, if you were to do a movie review, but you were to show all of the movie while you were doing the review, why would people watch the original movie instead of your video? It's like um, turning the creator commentaries on, on for a DVD or a Blu-ray. It makes no sense to watch the original movie if you're going to do that. So that would devalue the original work. In another way, you can't upload a full TV episode or a full someone else's complete video and expect it not to devalue the original work and end up getting you a copyright strike. But there are also provisions for it. The work has to be transformative. Now, if I were to take, oh, let's say, someone's YouTube video and take like a vlogger's YouTube video and remix it into a song, that would not be copyright infringement because it would be a transformative work and it would most likely cause people to go looking for the original creator because they liked what I did with that particular clip. For example, there's a video of <laughs> Boogie2988's character Francis ranting about the, the Warcraft servers being down and someone took that video and created a dubstep music video out of that video. I enjoyed that video and I will even link it down in the description and link Boogie's channel down in the description so that you can go and watch both 
that video and his content because he's pretty good. He's pretty funny. But if I were to just take the Francis ranting video and upload it on my channel, that would be copyright infringement. So, how to use it. With me, the way that I, the way that I do, or that I would do, I haven't yet, but the way that I would do, like a video review or a commentary would be, I would take small clips, not the whole video, small clips of the source material and put it into my video. And that would probably, the clips would, would not exceed 30% of the total video. I would make sure of that. And that's my rule, 70-30. 70% 70 70 your own work, 30% the source material. That way you're giving more of your own content to the viewer than you are the other person's content. And you're not essentially just piggybacking off of their creativity and gaining their success for yourself. Now, how not to use it as, as a catch-all. Now, what I mean by that is there are people out there who have, and I'm not, I'm not naming names, but there is a certain Facebook personality that has downloaded videos from YouTube and basically plastered a frame over the video that says something along the lines of this changed my perspective on humanity or this person is crazy or whatever and then puts his face at the beginning and the end of the video and he calls that a transformative work and a, an example of fair use when it's actually just freebooting is the term we use now so, if you find yourself just putting a beginning and an end on a video and maybe a frame, that's not a transformative work, that's just basic. That's just blatant theft, in my opinion. It may not be in your opinion, but you have the right to your own opinion. However, that's just my opinion. Now, how to give credit to the original work. You can either cite the, you can either cite the source of the material in your video, or you can cite the source of the content in the description of your video. But you need to do one or both of those things. Because if you don't, and someone recognizes that content from somewhere else, and you haven't specifically stated that that is that person's content, they're going to give you trouble. And that will eventually lead to copyright troubles, which are never good, because if you get one strike, you're limited to 15 minutes of video, 15 minutes per video. You can't really do much about it. You can't appeal on anything else other than the one strike you're already working on. If you get a second strike, you can't work on it. It's just... And then if, if you get three strikes, your channel is deleted. And that, no. If you get three strikes on your channel, you probably deserve it. Well, no. You probably have done something that's either irresponsible or you just weren't careful enough. So, when in doubt, just don't upload. When in doubt, don't upload a work that may or may not end up getting you flagged for copyright because that is the worst possible thing for a YouTuber, especially if you get an income from your YouTube channel. Because, let's face it, there are a lot of us now that do this as a full-time job or a part-time job. 
and if you get YouTube ad revenue and then you get a copyright strike all of your ad re revenue can potentially be put on hold and that's never good because then you have to explain to either yourself or to your family or to whoever why you're not getting the money and why you can't pay to keep the electric or the gas or whatever on. That is never good. Now, right now, I haven't had any copyright troubles, but as I grow, I will probably see people trying to make my channel go down because they don't like me. And, and that brings me to my second topic of the day is the, the five main things that I've learned from being on YouTube just as a watcher and then here recently as a creator. Number one, there are a lot of awesome people in the world. I mean, <laughs> you talk about awesome, you talk about life-changing experiences. I've seen videos where people have offered new ideas or new ways of living and it's like wow and I will link a few of the channels that I think that are inspiring down in the in the description for you to go and check out because they're really good number two for a lot of people high school is the last point in their lives where they changed who they are the popular kids stay popular, the rich kids stay rich, the poor kids, eh, some of them get out of being poor, but most of them, like me, stay poor. <laughs> um, the weird kids stay weird, the, nerd ki the nerds stay nerdy. And that's not always a bad thing, I mean, the rich kids can, gr can grow up and end up paying more taxes than we do, and <laughs> yeah and the poor kids can teach the rich kids how to live with little to no money when all the money goes away or whatever so number three don't if you're a content creator don't do it unless you're ready for criticism because there are going to be a lot of people that are going to say some crappy stuff to you because they don't like the way you look or the way that you talk or the way that you do your videos. And there are going to be people that are going to tell you you're doing your videos wrong, you're doing your content wrong, you're presenting the facts wrong, whatever. Don't listen. As long as you like who you are as long as you like what you're doing, don't listen. But if you can't keep yourself from listening, I advise against getting into YouTube because there are going to be people that if you're not able to compartmentalize what they say from how you feel, you're going to end up walking away from the, t from the computer screen pretty sad. And that's never good. Next, number four is don't get into YouTube for the money. Don't get into YouTube for the fame or the fortune or the, um, for any of that. Do it for the enjoyment of inspiring people, working with people, teaching people, getting people to think. I mean, my favorite YouTuber, Boogie2988, got into it not because he wanted to make money, but because he wanted to share his viewpoint with the world, and he wanted to get people to think and feel. Something that too, too few people in the world today do. Too few people think and too few people are in touch with their emotions anymore. There are more people in the world 
that stay apathetic and unemotional than there are that actually think and feel on a level that makes it worthwhile to be a human. I'm not saying that they're not human. I'm not saying that feel, not feeling is a bad thing. It's just, it's not as good of a life if you can't feel joy and sorrow and connect with your fellow people. And number five is, if you get big, if you get to like 100,000, 500,000, a million subscribers, whatever, thank the people that help you get there and help the people that are not as far along as you. Help them along. We all deserve a chance to be recognized for the fact that we are unique human beings. I recognize all of you that watch this video as unique and intelligent and wondrous human beings for being able to do what you do. I thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I love you all very much. From the bottom of my heart, I care about each and every one of you. And I just enjoy working and making videos for you guys every day. This will probably be a weekly thing, but I am working every day on producing videos. It's just I don't upload every day. I'll try. I might be able to, but I might not. Thank you for watching. I am the Arch Gamer, and I'm signing out.